Now, Mike and Hamish caught up with Mastercraft Kitchen's head designer, Kristen Reed to have a look through some innovative kitchen design choices. Let's take a look. Good morning, Hamish, and you've brought along a friend again. Kristen, great to have you here at the cafe. Uh, what are we going to be talking about today, Hamish? Morning, young Mike. Okay, we've popped together some fantastic options for you to take a look at for when you're thinking about designing a brand new kitchen. Okay, I've got a question straight away, Kristen. <laughs> okay, and thanks for being here again, by the way. Um, where on earth would one start? So I thought, okay, I want a kitchen. Where, where's a good starting point for me? Good morning. Well, I would always start at visiting our website, mastercraft.co.nz, because there's loads of images, all different styles, and we've even got some videos, just giving you a wee bit of a guide as to um, how to get the process underway. Brilliant, okay, really good, making it nice and easy. Okay, so let's get underway with some options that we've got. What are we gonna talk about first? Okay, first up, we've got a lot of photos to get through yes. for you, and we're gonna be talking handles. Okay, cool, so we're gonna have a look at some images yep. here. So these are great handles, because they're cost effective, so they're surface mounted, which means they're easy to fit. And surface mount handles are coming in a huge range of finishes now. These handles are copper and they match in quite nicely with those pendant lines. Okay, and easy to change too, I would imagine, handles. Very easy to change when they're surface mounted. Traditional handles are um, big at the moment and they always look awesome on a panel door. So there's a huge range of those because country kitchens and traditional kitchens are, are quite on trend. Right. Okay, you really like that look. Okay, and mm. are there handles there at all? <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, these are push to open or servo drive. There's all different options you can get to, to make a drawer handleless. But this is just simply push it and it will open. An alternative to that is just to angle the front of the drawer so you just put your fingers in. Nice. I like those push to open ones because you know what? It's nice and easy to clean. <laughs> you don't have to get around the handles. Okay, so there are lots of different options. What are we going to look at now? We're going to look at appliances because this is an avenue oh, where yes. people can come unstuck. Yeah. And I think it's good to talk to your designer about the options. Okay, cool. So, okay, what have we got here, Kristen? This is called a rear riser. So this range hood pops up out of the bench. Uh, great solution if you've got a hob in front of the window like this or a, a hob in the island. Right. Yeah, installed correctly, they're super efficient too and really quiet. Okay, and this one here? If you're wanting to make more of a statement of your range hood, putting the hob on the island and having a, like a statement uh, island hood always can, can look quite cool. It adds an industrial feel though. Right, and this is where a designer can help you because sometimes you might not think of the practicalities of where you put something like your hobs exactly. or your, you know, even your ovens. Okay, so I love the look mm. of that. So the, the oven is awesome. Having three smaller ovens is more efficient, you know, you're not heating up this big space just to cook something small, and it, it looks quite cool, it gives this kitchen character. Having the bulkhead tiled around the yeah, top yeah, above that it, that's cool. amazing. Yeah, you don't always have to enclose the range hood in, in cabinetry, mm. tiling it or stainless steel and even brush brass sometimes. Okay, cool, I'm loving these options. Okay, and what's this final one you've got for us? So going for a, a coloured appliance really adds character, whether it's a traditional kitchen or a contemporary kitchen. Nice. Yeah. Okay, there are some brilliant options. Okay, so we've looked at we've looked at handles, we've looked at appliances. Time for splashbacks. Yeah, because they can be they can make a huge difference to a kitchen, can't they? Massive difference. Yeah. Okay, so this one. Oh, oh look at that. Nice. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, natural stone splashbacks are really on trend, and it's such a statement. So everything else being really neutral, it just pops. It looks mm. awesome and classy. Beautiful. Okay, cool. And this one here, the old tartan effect. Yes, yeah, so that's a printed glass splashback. So this kitchen had um, this done to match a room beyond it, which had this on the wall as a wallpaper. So it matched in. It was just tied the rooms together. We have to say it's gingham also, Mike, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And, and this one here, is that a slate effect, I can see? Yeah, this is an interesting one. It was a, a stainless steel mosaic tile. Wow. Okay, so, cool. Because yeah. that looks like rock, really, from a distance, it does. doesn't it? It yeah. really added texture in the room. And this is where I guess you need designers, isn't it, to help you. Mastercraft can help you out, but if you get a designer involved, then they can bring some elements from other parts of the room into the overall design, make it look incredible. Yeah. They make sure it fits really well within the whole house, you know, ties it all in together. And it's practical. Okay, speaking of practical, everyone needs practical lighting. Mm. So what, can, what, what tips have you got for us <laughs> with that? Well, LEDs every time. So this kitchen, again with a stone splash bag, LED strip lighting in the base of the overhead cupboards just really light up that space, but it's also so practical for task lighting. You can always see what's on the bench and there's no shadows. Okay, cool. Why LED lighting? Is it just stronger, better? Yeah, and it's um, cost effective with your power bill as well, and you don't have to replace bulbs, and it's just the way of the future. And when you used to use fluorescent, you used to get breaks in it because oh. tubes can't run the whole way. Right, there you go. Yeah. Okay, and look at that. That's wow. Really, oh, beautiful. So, mirrored toe kicks here with LED lights above gives this kitchen a, oh, wow. a floating appeal. Like it definitely looks floating. 
Yes, you're right. So you've got some at the bottom, some at the top. OK, let's have a look at another picture, because I'm loving the look of what was going on here. OK, so you've got a little bit of LED lighting in there, haven't you? Yeah, just in the floating shelves. Yeah. So the extrusion is quite thin, so you can, even if you have floating shelves 30mm thick, you can still rebate that, that extrusion with, it, with the LED in it into it. Nice work. Do you, do you love your job? I love my job. No, because kitchen's honestly the heart of a home, and when you get it right and your customers go, Kristen, I love it, it must make you feel really good. So yeah. thanks for sharing the love with us, giving us all those tips. And of course, you can head along to mastercraft.co.nz. Thank you, Hamish. Well, I do my best to bring the right people. No, you, you, you've done well. <laughs> and thank you very much, Kristen.